What's up, everybody? Shit. I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse, as some of y'all may know me. And as always, I am here with Daniel, my faithful co-host. Say hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and for the first time joining on the mailbag, I believe for the first time, is Nate. He's been here for the rest of the podcast, but this is the first time he's been here for the mailbag. So say hi, mm -hmm. Nate. Where could people find you? And Hi, Nate. buy you milkshakes. <laughs> Say, that's my joke name. <laughs> I gotta um, <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm Nathaniel Rumpeljantz. Most people just call me Nate. I don't know why I always use my full name. It's just kind of been my thing. Uh, I am the content creator, YouTuber uh, at Nintendo Prime. Just type in Nintendo Prime anywhere. It's going to be me. I also, there's a website for it. I uh, used to do some other Zelda stuff at some point in my life. I don't know. I don't care about that anymore. It's all about Nintendo uh, Prime, Nintendo Prime, or Zelda MPC Prime, or MPM, or whatever <laughs> it ends up getting rebranded. I'm to. a big fan of Ninty, Ninty Prime, Ninty Prime, Ninty Prime. Yes. Hey, that's our that's our Twitter handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so this is our Zelda mailbag, but sometimes we get questions outside of the world of Zelda. So feel free to ask mm -hmm. questions about Nintendo, Zelda, Mario, Metroid, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, relationship advice from Daniel. So <laughs> <laughs> any not just relationship advice, you know, just general life advice. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's actually on on the, on the old podcast we had my friend Simon. Uh, He's like going to school to study like different stuff, and uh, some of his favorite stuff was like asking people to send in questions for like relationship advice or stuff like that. So then it would be like Amanda from who's the news video host for Zelda Universe and me, mm -hmm. and then we would like every question we would answer would be about Zelda, but then like it would come to him answering a question, and it would be someone's like, "Hey, <laughs> this girl doesn't like me." <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it was it was uh, great to have the the variety because it was mm -hmm. off topic. But anyways, if you have a question, <laughs> please comment them below. Uh, sometimes we get too many questions and we we can't get to all the questions. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. What do they do if they can't get their question oh, read? You should become a Patreon subscriber because uh, there's that plug. There it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> if you're a patron, your questions take priority because we love you. Yes, and this week yeah. we, we only have one question from a Patreon subscriber. But yes, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse if you want your question to take priority. And there's also a lot of other good stuff there. So, mm -hmm. our first question comes from Patreon subscriber The One. Wait, which one? <laughs> <laughs> the One. Yes, yes. Uh, he actually has his own uh, Zelda YouTube channel that I think he's worked on videos with. Oh, really? Which one? <laughs> with <Sorry>. McIntyre, <laughs> RMFH, and... Uh, oh, yeah. I know. The one. Yeah. So, his question, would you like the next Zelda game to take place in Hyrule or in a different land slash world? I would say the only mm -hmm. 3D Zelda game that has taken place outside of Hyrule was Majora's Mask, which took place in Termina. Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild all took place in Hyrule. Some of those games you could travel to other locations. Like, you could go to the Silent Realm or whatever it was called in Skyward Sword, but that was essentially mm -hmm. just like a different textures put on Hyrule. Not even just different lighting, yeah. <laughs> really. Um, yeah. You or bloom effect. I I could be wrong <laughs> on this, but I think the Spirit Temple dungeon mm. in Twilight Princess takes place in the Sacred Realm because mm. the or the which Temple of Time that dungeon yeah yeah the Temple of Time because it's a gateway to the Sacred Realm and you have yeah. to travel through that glass painting or whatever that Navi flies through in Ocarina of Time at the end. I think mm. it's the same one. So, like, I think that is essentially, like, the gateway through to the Sacred Realm, but I could... I don't know. Like, I just I just know the Temple of Time is supposed to be the gateway to the Sacred Realm. and yeah. Unconfirmed speculation. Yes. Is, that, is that not what <laughs> Ocarina of Time says? Yes. Like, Ocarina of Time says say it's the gateway. Of time. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't know if the dungeon actually takes place, but yeah. I, in my head yeah. canon, I like to think that it does. So, yeah. uh... 
yeah, basically, I would like to see a return to Termina. We, I've said this a hundred thousand times. We've seen what mm-hmm. uh, if we take Ocarina of Time's version of Hyrule, and then we go to Twilight Princess version of Hyrule. We can see what Hyrule looks like running on a much more powerful console and having the world a lot bigger than it is on the Nintendo 64. Mm-hmm. Then we can jump to Breath of the Wild, which is Hyrule on an even larger scale. And mm-hmm. we can see what it looks like after so many thousands of years have passed. Um, so if we, even if we took the Twilight Princess or the Breath of the Wild approach to Termina, what would it look like on the scale of Hyrule from Twilight Princess or Breath of the Wild? But then not only is it a much larger version of Termina, but you also have a lot of stuff that could have happened between the time. Uh, mm-hmm. So like a few hundred years later or a few thousand years later, just to revisit it to see what it looks like completely different. Like if they had another go at Twilight Princess and weren't limited to, not Twilight Princess, another go at Termina, but they aren't limited to the smaller world size that the Nintendo 64 is limited to. So Mm -hmm. basically Termina on the scale of Breath of the Wild, it doesn't even need to be, like it could be half the size of Hyrule from Breath of the Wild and that would still be a huge version of Mm -hmm. Termina. So... That's my thoughts, and I would want it to be a lively Termina, similar to what it was like in Majora's Mask, where all the NPCs had a set place that they would be at at a specific time, all of the side quests. I wouldn't want it to be like, oh, there's like a hundred different towns you can go to, but 99 of them are all in ruins. So, Hmm. (laughs) like, that's what Breath of the Wild gave us. Like, in Hyrule Field, you come across so many... Uh, buildings or monuments and stuff that's all just completely destroyed. And then it shows the cutscenes of what the villages and towns looked like when they were fully restored a long time ago. And it's like, mm-hmm. why can't we? Why can't we visit that? Like, why does it have yeah. to be all burnt down? So that's that's what I would like to see. <laughs> what about you? Which one? Sure. Oh, I'll oh, go ahead, Nate. You're yeah. the guest. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um... So I don't know how many people remember because we haven't really had a game take place, but like way back in the day, like Link wasn't from Hyrule. He came from surrounding territories that we've just never visited. Mm. Uh, This is according to the manuals and all that stuff. Um, For what, Zelda 1? Yeah, for Zelda 1. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to name the lands just because I can't remember off the top of my head because it's just not something people talk about ever. Um, mm-hmm. But, like, at Breath of the Wild, because I want a quick turn around into Breath of the Wild. So, in Breath of the Wild, you kind of get to the edge of Hyrule, and there's more out there. They didn't do what I thought they would do, which is, like, surround it with water and just be done with it. Um, they made it very obvious there's other land out there with animals and other things happening. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I like to think that that other land is actually the adjacent lands that have been canon forever that we've never got to visit. Mm. Uh, so I would like the next game to take place there. And that's not no diss on Hyrule. Uh, that's just because I want a quick turnaround game. If it's not a quick turnaround game, they obviously could go back to Hyrule and do something. But I feel like um, I want to see them with their current creativity and take it to a new land where they they kind of break free of any perceived restrictions that Hyrule might provide right now. Um mm. And, and just open it up to even even like a new threat, right? Like the threat still feels like uh, even in like the DLC, it's like okay, uh, there's like the new threat or whatever, but not really. The threat is still you know calamity again and and making sure that never happens again and blah blah blah. So it's kind of like going to a new area kind of also gives them an excuse to bring in a new threat. That doesn't mean mm-hmm. we haven't had other threats in Hyrule. I know, guys, <laughs> but it's still all been based around. Ganon and eventually bringing mm-hmm. him. Yeah, play. Ganon uh, gave Zant yeah. his power. So yeah, the the rule. Okay, well, I have a few points. The rule is if it's this Link's first adventure, the enemy is Ganon. If it's this Link's second adventure, and he's somewhere else, then it's with something else. <laughs> so um, yeah, but uh, I think Twilight Princess says. It talks about, I think Ordana province, or the, the Ordon province, is actually separate from Hyrule. I think it's actually technically not part of Hyrule in that game. 
Um, and because I think at the beginning of the game, Russell, that's his name, I hope, uh, yeah. asks, asks, like, have you ever been to Hyrule? And he's like, blank stare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because cause he's yeah. like, and he's like, no, you haven't. Okay. Uh, well, you're going to go, buddy. Yeah. yeah. And then he kind of does for a different reason. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think that um, technically that's the closest we've gotten to sort of exploring outside of Hyrule. And that's only maybe kind of. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see more outside of Hyrule. Um, just because, you know, universe building, as I said before when we were talking about Metroid, more universe building is good. We know there's more than just Hyrule because we see islands off in the distance. We see other land off in the distance of Breath of the Wild. Um, and in other games too, in Twilight Princess, you can see unexplorable areas that you can't get to um, that I really want to. Um, but I'm not the boundary break guy, so I can't. <laughs> um, but uh, overall, I think if they announce the next Zelda game and it was in Hyrule, I wouldn't be disappointed because um, when it comes to geography, it's not going to be the same enough. Yeah, it, to it could be, be Hyrule, but it would look completely yeah, different. It, it, yeah, it won't really be the same Hyrule. Like, you know, A Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, they all take place in Hyrule. But they're not the same map. Yeah. So, you know, if it's in Hyrule, I won't complain. If it's not, that's awesome, too. I'm I'm game for it to not be, but I won't be disappointed either way. All and right. that's my bet. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nate isn't with us for the moment, so we will head he to... <laughs> He's no longer with us? He just he blends in with the green screen. <laughs> oh, it, no. it's, it's actually him and John Cena both on camera. Oh... Uh. This makes sense. Actually, I'm not going to lie. My uh, For some reason, Skype gave up on me some time ago, so I can't see you guys. But oh, well, we, we can see you. But so. I know you can see me because I keep checking the live stream. So. All right. So, Edible Incredible, um, mm. who has a great YouTube channel. He does. Says, what specific aspects from Breath of the Wild will Nintendo be keeping in the next mm. big Zelda game? The big open world. Yeah. They've already said that they're like, yeah, I think we'll do that again. So, <laughs> um, I would say the paraglider, but I yes, want yes, please, we, we I get love the, it. We get the paraglider in this game mm-hmm. as soon as we get off the Great Plateau. That's actually what we use to get off the Great Plateau. I would like mm-hmm. it if jetpack. You <laughs> jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, if, go. If, if you had to take like mm-hmm. not put it in the middle of the game or late in the game. But, like, maybe after the third dungeon. So, like, if you look at Ocarina of Time, you've discovered most of Hyrule by the mm. time you complete the third dungeon. You go to uh, Kakiri Forest, Lost Woods, Goron City, Zora River, Zora Domain, uh, Hyrule Field, Lon Lon Ranch, Kakariko Village, Death Mountain, Hyrule Castle. The only place that you don't really go to is, is the Gru- desert. Yeah, yeah. Gerudo Valley, which you can go to, you just can't really get into it so mm-hmm. like there's 10 ish dungeons in that game off the top of my head and mm-hmm. by I the time nine. yeah by the time you finish three dungeons you've already discovered like 90 percent of the world yeah. so i would like it if it was similar to that to where after you complete three dungeons then you're given like oh this is Zelda's cloth or whatever from Skyward Sword that Link had to use mm-hmm. which is what they showed it to be originally in Breath of the Wild before they changed it to yep. the paraglider so if it was something it makes so much more sense though <laughs> yeah like using it as a big cloth <laughs> it doesn't make sense yeah. Uh, yeah uh but I I would want it something like that like I that's one thing that I can't mm-hmm. imagine a Zelda game doing unless it's like a 2D Zelda game but mm-hmm. like I can't see going back to just traveling on foot, especially yeah. it's like someone giving you like I don't know like they just give you like a ten million dollar car and then a year they're later like, nah, they're take like the bus yeah like a year <laughs> later they're just like here's a bus ticket <laughs> so like it, yeah because like when they you, gotta do it up upwards not backwards yeah when when you think of breath of the wild you think of paragliding essentially mm-hmm. which is and something climbing. yeah which is something you never would have thought of before this mm-hmm. so that's some of the stuff that i think should be carried over yep. um and then they also have the cut content um the long shot or hook shot oh, 
so Shot. yes <laughs> so there's yeah and also um you know this this could be a great opportunity to revisit loft wings that would yes. be cool it's not yes. really from breath of the wild but like it's more like an improvement of the paraglider the paraglider you just sort of glide right but with the loft wing you you can gain momentum you can you know it was really limited what you could do with them in skyward the sword but if you brought that mechanic into breath of the wild's world like a world yeah. that size it could open up so many more possibilities so link could just jump on the back of rivali and just ride him around <laughs> <laughs> i don't think Rivali would would like that yeah <laughs> Right, so uh, our next question comes from a hidden figure uh this says mm-hmm. question would you prefer the next zelda game to take place in hyrule once again another world from a previous zelda or nintendo game or a new location i would prefer oh. a new location especially after breath of the wild well mr hidden kind figure of we question. we just answered this a minute yep. ago so there you go <laughs> <laughs> two for one <laughs> good good job all right Two so, questions for the price of one. Gustavo, who used, I believe, used to be a Patreon member, oh. asks, "What was the first game you guys played, and what system was it?" Um, oh. The first game that I remember playing is a Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. So, yeah. mm-hmm. what about you, Daniel? I have okay. Well, it's actually kind of a, a tie between two. I don't know which one was first. But my earliest childhood memories are um, A Link to the Past and Super Mario World. I don't know which one I played first. They were probably about the same time. Um, but yeah, those those two games, those are my, my Wii memories. First games I ever played. And, uh, and I still come back to them now because that's how well they hold up. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, Super Nintendo, obviously. But <laughs> I wonder if Nate will get back before the last question. Nope. Right. Jonathan <laughs> Drews he's, he's, on. he's asks, no longer with us. What are the odds <laughs> that Nintendo creates new 2D Mario and Zelda games for the Switch? I'm going to say mm. 102% chance. Ooh, I'm going to lowball it and say 98.4%. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, um, I I think I, the next 2D Zelda game will be releasing sometime this year mm-hmm. or next year. So, yeah, yep, that sounds about right. And um, where there is 3D Mario, there is usually also 2D Mario, with yeah. the exception of the N64, I think. As, well, and then before that, it didn't happen because there was no 3D Mario. As but. great <laughs> as 3D Mario games are reviewed, like Super Mario Galaxy mm-hmm. 2, Mario Odyssey, are two of the highest mm-hmm. rated games um even though the 2d mario games don't get rated nearly as high they always outsell the 3d games so they make bank nintendo like when they release a 2d zelda game it's just like money flowing into their pockets mm-hmm. and you know they're fun like i really enjoy both like i like my 3d mario but i also i really love 2d mario as well um when the only thing is, like, with Super Mario Maker, like, a what, like, with their, that one's, like, a limitless pool of opportunity. Um, I don't know what else they could do now with 2D Mario. It's like, that, like, they put it in our hands. We probably already exhausted all the ideas. So. Nate, Nate, um, we need your help. Yeah. Is there going to be? Well, good. Is there going to be? Hurry, really quick. Is there going to be another 2D Mario game or another 2D Zelda game? On is the there going? What are the odds? I said there's a hundred and ten or a hundred and four percent chance. You said hundred two percent. Okay, hundred and two. Stick to your story. What a <laughs> new, <laughs> what a new Mario Maker count. Yeah. Mm, sure. Because they come Kinda. with pre-built 2D stages. Okay. Well then, yes, absolutely. Because there's going to be a new Mario Maker. All I'm right. pretty sure. All right. Really quickly, Gustavo wants to know what was your first game you ever played, and what system was yeah. it on? We're we're doing a speed round. Yeah, Punch Out. Punch Out. NES. Oh, right. okay. Uh, Edible Incredible wants to know what specific aspects from Breath of the Wild will Nintendo be keeping for their next big Zelda game? Open world, exploration, climbing, maybe crafting. Hmm. 
See, I said open world. Jesse said paragliding. Okay. Well, yeah. that, that's kind of part of the exploration, so yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. But I said I want the paraglider, instead of getting it towards the beginning of the game, I want it to be like after the third dungeon. That way adding, you're not... a jetpack. <laughs> that's what Daniel said. He said right? jetpack. Like, jetpack. <laughs> they're, they're borrowing it from Mario Sunshine. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just, you know, it's like an upgrade of the paraglider. You're no longer gliding. You got upward yeah. momentum. Except <laughs> instead of wood and a cloth, it's metal and gasoline. Yeah. I just want to ride a dragon. Just make it scale bound. Oh, yeah. Scale bound Zelda. Mm-hmm. Well, then you loft wings. This is, you see, we're coming back to loft wings again. Yeah, but Wait, dragons scale- are so much cooler. Isn't that canceled? Yeah, that is canceled. Okay. That's why I said bring it to Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always thought because uh, from interviews and stuff that people that, like that went behind closed doors or whatever and seen the game running, they always said stuff like the game ran very poorly on the Xbox. So my thought mm. was always they're going to downgrade the heck out of the game, release it on Xbox One, but then the actual version that you would want to play would be releasing alongside the xbox one x that never mm-hmm. happened though because that was no. always it, it reminded me of so mad that game got canceled the the last guardian when it was on playstation 3 shuhei yoshida uh and in a re it's not recent anymore but like whenever they were announcing the game for playstation 4 in an interview he mentioned something about whenever the game was always being shown off on playstation 3 at e3 it was running at like 15 frames per second so it was running at half the speed and then they would double it so that it would look like it was running at full speed and 30 frames per second um because the playstation 3 wasn't powerful enough to do what they wanted to do with it which is why it stayed in development hell for so long because the console just wasn't powerful enough to do what they wanted uh but anyways uh second to last question jonathan no sorry we we already answered that slop yep last the slop. final question what's what's the <laughs> final question daniel do you think the switch will become one of those consoles where it keeps on getting iterations of itself like xbox one to xbox one s x x s box one x x triple x etc <laughs> so i mean you, uh, you could have just replaced that with 3ds to yeah new 3DS well that's the thing is, is to nintendo totally XL. nintendo like, does this <laughs> ds do. DSi, there was a, there was a DSi. nes <laughs> and an nes2 yeah. before there was a suit well no actually nes2 came out after super nintendo but technically um it was just an upgraded NES, and then there was the I have, and I have a Super Nintendo, and then this, the Model Two Super Nintendo, which is a little bit smaller. Um, and yeah, it's, it's the same thing. They they have, I think. Yeah, with, were, I don't think trying. they did it with you know N sixty four or Xbox. Well, they were or, going to upgrade the sixty four with, with GameCube. The disc drive, but yeah. that didn't work. And then yeah, but then there was like uh, DVD player add on, uh, mm-hmm. DVD built in player, one that only released in Japan for a short time, mm-hmm. and GameCube. Um, so new. Wii U Deluxe. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I, I, I have yeah. a video where I, I mentioned this. That actually, I got mm-hmm. a few different videos that mentioned this. Like ever Game Boy since Micro. the original Nintendo <laughs> console, Game Boy Advance SP. Like, if you follow the pattern <laughs> of every single Con- Nintendo console that has released, it's more mm-hmm. likely that Nintendo will release an attachment or a new iteration of it. The original Famicom had the Famicom floppy disk system. The Mm. Super Nintendo had, like, the thing that attached to it so you could play, like, the BS games, the Satellaview Satellaview. stuff. Satellaview, Uh, yep. And they, with Sony, they had a planned disk drive that would have made it more powerful, similar to what the 64 disk drive would have done. That led to the Philips CDI. So some Fabled of the, Nintendo PlayStation. Some some of the best Zelda yeah. games that we have ever gotten came because of them <laughs> wanting to upgrade the Super Nintendo. That's why I love how he phrased it where he, he put it quote, will it become one of those quote unquote, yeah. you know, consoles. Yeah. It's like what do you mean what you mean like every Nintendo console ever? I, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Except for I think that, like the DS and 3DS are the best examples, but they've well, been yeah, doing it the, all the along. Most, the most modern examples were yeah. those where they they gave you a new iteration that also had slight hardware upgrades. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, every every single Nintendo console ever, aside from the Virtual Boy and the Wii family, has had something to attach to it to upgrade it, or had a brand new. Uh, version of the console release we did but it was a downgrade mm, the oh, Wii mini yeah yeah there yeah, was that yeah. but like the the, downgrade. the gamecube had something that you play the game boy advanced games Wii. you could play on the internet with the game or with the gamecube uh nintendo 64 had the disc drive game boy had game boy color and then like well there it, was yeah game boy pocket then game boy color yeah, yeah. and then game boy advance had the SP, uh, DS had like five different iterations: DSI, DSI XL, DS Lite. Uh, 3DS had new 3DS. After Miyamoto was in an interview, I always like mm-hmm. to mention this. Miyamoto was in an interview yeah. where he was asked, like, face to face with the the interviewers, saying like, "Will the 3DS have another version releasing? What do you have to say to the mm. people that are waiting to purchase a 3DS because they want to purchase the XL version? And Miyamoto was just like, we at Nintendo have no plans to release any other version of the 3DS. We, he basically yeah. saying like, we perfected it with what we have. But then like a few months later, nope. they have yeah. the 3DS XL <sighs> release. We yeah. have the yeah. 2DS, 2DS, or the new 2DS XL then we have the new Mm -hmm. 3ds and the new 3ds xl so when he said there wasn't going to be another thing we ended up getting five more things (laughs) so like yeah now Uh, if if someone asks nintendo hey is there going to be another version don't don't believe nintendo unless they say there is going to be yeah if Um, if someone and then it might happen like the disc drive and it's like they promise it but it still doesn't come out so yeah. yeah So, like, is there going to be a Switch XL? Probably. Is there going to be a Switch Mini? Maybe. Who knows? Probably. Yeah. There, there, anything you could think of. Is there going to be a Switch, you know, that's like uh, a new Nintendo Switch that uses the Taker X2? Probably. Because this is what Nintendo does. I would say... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would say early 2019, we will get yeah. another iteration of the Switch. Like, not this year, but early next what year. What I actually think it would be more interesting is if the Tegra line keeps going the way it is, the Tegra X line, um, if the, if that happens, in theory, Nintendo could just keep making new versions of the Switch that makes it kind of like a PC in that everything's always backwards compatible forever moving forward, which I think is what most gamers would love to hear. But, oh, yeah, I saw the included. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just don't know if that's actually going to be a thing, but... That I mean, as long as they're going to keep the Switch as a brand. Mm-hmm. Um, but I worry about it because of 3DS. The like, there's like things like that you can only play on the 3DS XL or, mm-hmm. or the new 3DS XL sure. that you can't play on an original 3DS. Yeah, and right? that's that's what makes it complicated. Yeah. Like on mm-hmm. the original 3DS, you can play new Super Mario Brothers, but then <laughs> on the new 3DS, you can play. Uh, xenoblade chronicles yep. which can't play on the original console and if but, we're honest hyrule legends hyrule warriors legends should not be playable on the og 3ds either to be honest yeah so it's like games that have new in front of the title can be played on both <laughs> but then there's games that doesn't have new on it that can only be well, played on the new system yes the new title's dumb they should have never used it but yeah. did you there was an interview where and Miyamoto said just that imagine they being... thought about naming a link between worlds new Legend of Zelda. I think it was oh, a link no. between worlds. They they love that they're Nintendo's stop. in their own bubble, they need man. To stop. Because the thing is that new Super Mario Bros. is over ten years old. It's an old <laughs> game that's called new. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's like you, you go into GameStop and you're like, Hey, do you have a used copy of New Super Mario Bros. for a used new three D S? And they're like, <laughs> What? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, they, they, they're like, probably the only people that know what here. you're talking about. But can you yeah. just imagine being someone's like that, that kid, and your parents mean really well, you know, 
and they they want to buy you a nice gift and they see you have a 3ds so they buy you a game and then you can't <laughs> play it because it's only works on the new 3ds oh, and you don't have that <laughs> so fun fun story about that right so yeah. uh this for this christmas uh my parents got my daughter a 2ds Mm. Um, the one that came with Mario Kart 7. It, you know, I'm assuming they hit a Black Friday deal on it. Great, cool. Right on. Um, yeah. Good, good, good for them. Well, she's really into Minecraft, so they got her Minecraft. And the guy at the store repeatedly told them, "This will play on her system. This will play on her system." I took one look at it, and I'm like, "No, that's not going to play on her system. She needs a new Nintendo 2DS XL. She can't play it on a t- standard 2DS. It says it right on the box." Wow. And my parents are like, "Well, it just says new 3DS." I'm like. I, I understand this is confusing for you because you're not part of the Nintendo family, but mm-hmm. yet Haven't it, will, it will not play on standard 2D. We don't believe you. That store person said, I'm like, Mom, this is what I do for a living. Mm-hmm. Watch. Okay, you don't believe me. Melody, can you put this cartridge in your console real quick? Yeah, sure. I want to play. Oh, it, it won't work. It says it's not compatible. I told you. She needs a new Nintendo 2D. Oh, how much is that? I'm like, twice the amount of the one you just bought. <laughs> yeah. yeah they were they were so mad she 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 has a 2ds xl now we returned that one now she doesn't have mario kart 7 but oh well she can play minecraft and she loves minecraft so there you go